हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज किरण गायकवाड़ असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फार्मास्यूटिकल केमिस्ट्री केली कॉलेज ऑफ फार्मेसी बेलगाम सो टुडे विल सी हाउ टू परफॉर्म लिमिट टेस्ट फॉर क्लोराइड सो इफ वी फर्स्ट विल सी द प्रिंसिपल सपोज इफ द क्लोराइड आइटम्स आर प्रेजेंट इन द सैंपल फॉर व्हिच विल बी परफॉर्मिंग द लिमिट टेस्ट इट विल रिएक्ट विद AgNO3 एंड व्हेन इट रिएक्ट्स विद AgNO3 एंड वी वी मेंटेन द कंडीशन एसिडिक कंडीशन बाय यूजिंग डाइल्यूट AgNO3 we get acl which will be visible in white ppt and based on that we can compare uh, if the chloride atoms are more than the standard or not and then we actually define that whether the sample a or what is the sample we will be actually checking the limit test for is passes the limit test or not so let's see now how to perform the limit test for chloride so to perform limit test for chloride i have here silver nitrate solution Uh, then I have dilute HNO3 solution and standard solution for chloride. Now uh, and here also I have a sample A for which will be performing the limit test for chloride. So in the sample I have taken the sample here, small quantity of sample you have to take, and then okay, I have taken I have measured quantities already. So this is the standard solution. Now the remaining quantities after that. Take ten ml of dilute HNO3 in both nasal cylinders. After this, just shake the solution so that the sample get dissolved. And then in this, add two ml of AgNO3 solution in both the nasal cylinder. You can see there is a turbidity forming. So this is the standard one and this is the sample one. But and after this After adding HNO3, by using water, we have to make up the volume. So I will add water here to just make up the volume till 50 ml. And then adjust it. Okay. now after this we have to wait for 2 minutes to see turbidity is developed or not but here we can see there is a turbidity already developed in the sample and when there is a turbidity or the opalescence which is formed in the sample is more than the standard it means that the formation of agcl is more the more number of chloride atoms the more number of agcl will form and the more number of agcl the more the white ppt will be Now, uh, if you look at this nasal cylinders, this is the sample one and this is the standard one. There is a in the standard solution, there is actually the less turbidity as compared to the sample. And now here, if you look at this, here this is the sample solution, this is the standard solution. In this case, the turbidity in the standard solution is more than the sample. So, what is the meaning of this? So, it represents. the content of chlorine ion in this sample solution is more and content of chlorine ion in this another sample solution is less as compared to standard it means it does not this sample does not passes the limit test for chloride and this sample passes the limit test for chloride so this is how we have to perform the limit test for chloride So this is how we have to perform the limit test for chloride, and by performing limit test for chloride, we can identify whether chloride impurity is present in that particular compound or not. Thank you. Thanks for watching.